Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be testing out some of the products that I purchased from Miss A and if you know nothing about this then you should check out my last video. I did a Miss A haul um, which is a website that has a bunch of different beauty products that are all for a dollar. Now I picked up some charcoal nose strips as well as some facial masks. So I will be trying those out today. I really need to get my <laughs> pores cleaned out, so might as well. I wanted to see how well the nose strips actually worked because in the past I've used uh, nose strips from the brand Bior and they were very good. So I'm just trying to see if I can find a cheaper option that will do the same thing. I didn't just want to do the nose strips. I'm like, oh, you know, let me amp this up a little bit. So I actually have a charcoal uh, face mask that I've had. I bought it off of Amazon a long time ago. I'll leave that below if you want to look into that one later. So I will pretty much have a completely black face by the end of this. So we will see how that goes and it will be painful. But beauty is pain so might as well. <laughs> so this is the packaging for the black charcoal nose strips. There are six of them in there. I have not tried this yet. I am doing this completely with you guys. And then I also have the charcoal mask that I got from Amazon. I have used the charcoal peel off mask before but I just decided to add it to the nose strips. They're both charcoal. Might as well do all my pores instead of just my nose. And then afterwards I will be trying out the aloe vera sheet mask that I also got from Miss A. Because definitely after you've used a peel off mask of any kind, it is important afterwards to try and hydrate your skin. Because after you use a peel off mask like that, you've pretty much taken out all the gunk, everything else that is in your pores and your skin is very vulnerable at that time so it's kind of good to bring some hydration back into your skin since you've pretty much removed everything and definitely because you should be cleaning your face before putting on these products. So at the moment my hair is down but I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of my face as well as um, I've got like an acne medication that I tend to use because if you see <laughs> I have a few so I'm going to go ahead and wash my face and get it prepped. And just so you guys know, I will be applying the peel off face mask with one of these, which is my little plastic applicator. I use this for mask. I love it because always when I use like these dark masks, like it always gets stuck on my fingers and I'm just like, ah, I can't do anything. All right. So I just got done washing my face. I put my hair up and now I'm going to be applying the nose strip first. I do have a small thing of water that I'm going to use because always with these nose strips you're going to have to add water onto your nose so it has something to adhere to and then you place them on. <laughs> Look at my dobby ears! <laughs> I always hate having my hair up because I always feel like I've got huge ass ears. So I just took out one of the nose strips from the package. That's what it looks like so I'm going to open it up. Ooh. Okay I do notice First off with the nose strips, if you can tell, I know from using the Bior strips that they usually have slits in them, usually like right here where, where the nose is and then right above so you can kind of like move it around and get it better onto your nose. You know, everybody's different nose shapes. These do not have them. We'll see how they work out. So I'm going to go ahead and get my nose a little bit. Oh, and I did make sure to wash my face with some warm water that way I could open up my pores a little bit. That really does help when you're using nose strips. I think that's good enough. Yeah, you want your nose pretty wet. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna peel this one off. Seems pretty sticky, which is good. Just use that on there. Okay. I'll make sure you press it down, definitely on the bridge, around the crevices of your nose in here. Make sure it sticks to everything. It's sticking pretty well. I'm I'm kind of surprised. Even the Bior strip, sometimes I have a little trouble with getting it to stick at first. There's that. I look like I'm a dog. So the nose strips stay about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure that the mask that I'm going to put on is going to take a little bit longer for it to dry. It depends on how you know, thick I put it on and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the mask now. Yay, so I got it all on. <laughs> I look ridiculous. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. After the 15 minutes, I'm gonna take off the nose strip. I might have to wait a little bit longer for the face. Who knows, I might leave this on a little bit longer. Uh, seems to be drying pretty well so far. It is quite hard to the touch, which is good. Okay, and I will tune in afterwards and let you guys know how it's going. All right, so I waited about 20 minutes for this to completely dry. The mask took so much longer, of course but I'm gonna start taking it off. And I have noticed that the nose strip did harden quite a bit, which I'm very happy about, but this is really hard to talk right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them off. So I'm gonna start here with the nose strip. Here comes the pain. <laughs> Ooh. And don't freak out if my eyes start watering, cause <laughs> normally what happens. There, there, goes, there goes my eyes. <laughs> Starting to water. Don't worry, this isn't really as bad as you think it is. It's just my eyes tend to water when it comes to nose strips and face masks, honestly. Ooh. You know, it did a decent job. I am I mean, I had a lot on my nose, not gonna lie. I do have a lot of pores on my nose and... I was a little skeptical on how this was gonna work out, but no, it did a pretty good job. Okay, now, <laughs> now for the rest of it. Ugh, I look so weird. Yeah, hopefully I can peel this off in like one huge piece. Those are always very satisfying. Ooh. Ugh. Ah, so much better. Yeah, and this one also did a pretty good job at picking up a lot of the stuff in my pores. Yeah, these do a pretty, pretty good job. At... <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off enough and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the aloe vera mask. So we can see how this one goes. Okay, so good. I just got done cleaning my face and <laughs> It's really smooth, I love it. My pores look so much better, honestly. I, I needed to do one of those nose strips so badly. And now I'm just gonna be adding on the sheet mask. Do you have to say I'm very happy with the smell of this so far? I have used other aloe vera masks and this one smells pretty close to it, so I'm not like that worried about it. Uh, one thing I don't like though, <laughs> This is me being picky, but how the eye holes are actually still, like, they're cut out, but they're still, like, connected. So they're just gonna be sitting there on my face. Let's go ahead and add this one on. Ooh, this feels really good. It's nice and cold. Put that in. <laughs> yeah, this is just kind of annoying, because it's, like, right there. Okay, you just want to try to smooth it out as much as possible, get a lot of air bubbles out. Ooh, okay, this feels pretty nice, honestly. This says about 15 to 20 minutes to leave this mask on, so I will see you guys soon. Okay, so I've left this on for about 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. This was a really good mask, I was kind of surprised. And it has a lot of, you know, leftover residue, which is good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and massage that in. Ugh. Okay, so my skin feels so much better. Can you even see the shininess there? It's very hydrated and it feels very smooth from doing the nose strip as well as the pull-off charcoal mask. Yeah, I have to say that I, for a dollar, I was very surprised with how the products actually worked out. All right, that is all that I have for you guys today, and if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you like me, then please subscribe. Thank you.